Ladies and ladies, thank you very much. The uh, Golden Stag Light is very happy to present for your amusement an interlude by Miguel de Cervantes Saavedra, written in 1615. It's called The Jealous Old Man. Hey, watch what you said. What? Take it off. Takes too long. <laughs>
whole side. And above all, none. The fellow I have in mind has all of those qualities, plus two extras. He's rich, and he's a good spender. <laughs> Wealth doesn't mean a thing to you, Signora Ortodosa. No, in this respect, I'm as lucky as any girl can be. And long live Canisari Sale, for he dresses me like a dog. And I have more jewels to wear than you could find in a rich silversmith's shop. If only he wouldn't nail up the windows, lock the doors, guard the house day and night, and drive away tomcats and dogs simply because they are nails. I'd do without his gifts and generosity. Is he then so jealous? Well, the other day, they tried to sell him a tapestry at a bargain price, but because it had human figures designed on it, he refused to buy it and purchased one of foliage pattern, which was more expensive and not so attractive. There are seven, seven doors to pass before one reaches my door. Every single one of them has a lock and key. Bless me if I can find where he hides the keys at night. Uh, and I believe he hides the key in the folds of his nightshirt. <laughs> Don't you believe in me? I, I sleep with him, and I've never seen or felt a key on him. But that's not all. For all the night long, he roams all over the house like a ghost. And if any people are serenading in the street, he flings stones at them and drives them away. He's a nasty warlock. And he's an old man. That's the worst I can say of him. Signor Lord, to do so. Best for you to be off now. Otherwise, the grumbler might find you with us. And that would undo all our plans. But if you have any plans to do anything, please do them as quickly as you can. I am so desperate. I don't mind to slip a rope around my neck and make it in for good and all. You'll soon cease to be so depressed when you're good time again. Then you'll revive and take a rosier view of life. Oh, I can see how it happens, even if I have to lose a finger off my hand. I'm very fond of my dear aunt. And it drives me distracted seeing her so, so worried and, and, and won't be gone. And the power of that, that doddering, dear old, oh, dull, oh, I can't stop calling him old. Well, very fun for you, Christina. Does that stop his being old? Um, besides, uh, I've always heard that old men are fond of young girls. That is true, Christina. Mm -hmm. Well, goodbye. I'll be back after supper. And bear in mind our plan, Senora, and you'll consider it carefully, and you'll soon realize you stand to gain by it. Senora Rosa, please bring a nice little fire. Need have some sport with Christina. I'll bring the little girl a portrait of Monte Cristo. A picture was no good to me. I want a live, lusty little one. I'm going to be a treasure. <laughs> Suppose your uncle sees him. Well, then I'll tell him he's a ghost, and he'll be scared and all that my fun. I promise you, I'll bring you one. Now, Aunt, before he goes to the you of love her, and he'll get fire. And if Uncle sees him, all we have to do is for all to see him.
There is nothing left in me to burn, my friend, for the tiniest flame would reduce me to ashes. I want companionship. I sought companionship. I found companionship. May God help me. <laughs> Are you jealous, friend? Yes, of the sun that shines on Lauren Sika, of the breeze that touches her, <laughs> of the skirts that cling to her limbs. <laughs>